Ever wondered how a simple firecracker in ancient China evolved into the sophisticated rockets that propel humans into space today? Well, our story starts over a thousand years ago when Chinese inventors began experimenting with gunpowder-filled tubes. These rudimentary rockets, primarily used for ceremonial purposes, were the forerunners of the technology that would eventually take us to the stars. As centuries passed, the concept of rockets moved beyond the realm of pyrotechnics. Pioneering minds began to see the potential of these fiery devices as means of propulsion. The understanding of basic principles like Newton's third law, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, laid the foundation for more complex designs. By the dawn of the 20th century, the stage was set for rockets to evolve from mere spectacle to critical tools for exploration and warfare. So, from ancient firecrackers to modern space shuttles, the journey of rockets is nothing short of fascinating. The foundation of modern rocketry was laid by visionaries like Konstantin Tsiolkovsky in the 19th century. This Russian scientist, often referred to as the father of astronautics, was one of the first to delve into the theoretical aspects of space exploration. His most notable accomplishment was his formulation of the Tsiolkovsky rocket equation, this equation, still used today, defines the fundamental principles of rocket propulsion. It describes how the speed of a rocket is related to its mass and the speed at which it can expel propellant. Around the same time, across the Atlantic, an American named Robert H. Goddard was also laying the groundwork for modern rocketry. Goddard was a practical experimenter, and his work was more hands-on than Tsiolkovsky's. In the early 20th century, he conducted the world's first successful launch of a liquid-fueled rocket. This was a pivotal moment in history, for it demonstrated that rockets could function in the vacuum of space, where there is no air to push against. Goddard's experiments led to the integration of basic propulsion principles into practical designs. He was the first to use a de Laval nozzle, a type of convergent-divergent nozzle, in a rocket engine to increase thrust. He also introduced the concept of multi-stage rockets, where a large rocket carries a smaller one, and the larger one is discarded when its fuel is exhausted. This concept is still used in most space launch vehicles today. Back in Europe, Hermann Oberth, a German physicist, was also contributing to the field. He wrote a dissertation on rocket science that was so revolutionary, his university refused to accept it. Undeterred, Oberth published it as a book, which inspired a generation of rocket scientists, including a young Werner von Braun. These early pioneers paved the way for the advances in rocket technology that were soon to come. Their theoretical work and practical experiments laid the foundation for the rockets we see today, from the space shuttles of NASA to the reusable rockets of SpaceX. Their legacy is a testament to human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. World War II was a dark period in human history, but it also catalyzed significant advancements in rocket technology. During this time, the world saw the transformation of rockets from theoretical concepts into tangible, formidable weapons. The most infamous of these was the V-2 rocket, developed by Nazi Germany. The V-2, or Vergeltungswaffe 2, meaning Retribution Weapon 2, was the world's first long-range guided ballistic missile. The brain behind this technological marvel was a young German engineer named Werner von Braun. Despite the devastating use of his invention, von Braun's ultimate dream was not to create weapons of mass destruction, but to use rockets as a means to explore space. The V-2 was a significant leap forward in rocket technology. It was powered by a liquid propellant rocket engine, which used a mix of ethanol and water for fuel, and liquid oxygen as an oxidizer. This allowed the V-2 to reach an impressive speed of over 3,000 miles per hour and an altitude of 189 miles. These numbers were unheard of at the time and marked a new era in the field of rocketry. As the war drew to a close, Von Braun and many of his team members were captured by the Allies. Recognizing the potential of their knowledge, the United States launched Operation Paperclip, a program designed to recruit German scientists, engineers, and technicians to aid in their post-war efforts. Under this program, von Braun and his team were brought to America, where they made significant contributions to the development of rockets. They laid the groundwork for what would later become the Saturn V rocket, 
the vehicle that would eventually carry humans to the moon. The technology and knowledge gained from the V-2 rocket and the work of von Braun and his team would prove instrumental in the coming space race. It marked the shift of rockets from instruments of war to vehicles of exploration and discovery. The post-war period marked the beginning of a new era in rocket science. From the ashes of conflict, the seeds of a new frontier were sown, setting the stage for the most significant leaps in human history that were yet to come. The Cold War rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union extended beyond political and military spheres and into the cosmos. The space race, as it came to be known, was a period of intense competition and rapid technological advancements in the field of space exploration. The space race was ignited with the launch of Sputnik by the Soviets on October 4, 1957. This tiny satellite, no bigger than a beach ball, was the first man-made object to orbit the Earth. Its beep-beep-beep signal transmitted from space sent shockwaves around the world, and it marked the Soviet Union's first victory in this new frontier of competition. However, the Soviets didn't stop there. On April 12, 1961, they achieved another remarkable feat. Yuri Gagarin, a 27-year-old Russian astronaut, became the first human to journey into outer space. He orbited the Earth once in his spacecraft, Vostok 1, marking another triumph for the USSR in the space race. But the United States was not far behind. On July 20, 1969, the world watched in awe as Neil Armstrong, an American astronaut, became the first person to set foot on the moon. As he descended from the lunar module, Armstrong uttered the famous words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. This momentous event marked a significant turning point in the space race. It was a testament to human ingenuity and technological prowess, and it symbolized the United States' victory in this cosmic competition. But more than a contest between two superpowers, the space race spurred a revolution in technology, science, and engineering. It brought about a new era of space exploration that continues to this day, with countries across the globe now participating in the journey to understand our universe better. The space race marked a significant milestone in the history of space exploration. It was a time of remarkable achievements and rapid advancements, a period that forever changed our understanding of what is possible. And while the race may have ended, the spirit of exploration and discovery that it ignited continues to inspire us today. Rocket engines have come a long way since the early days of space exploration. From simple combustion reactions to complex multi-stage propulsion systems, the evolution of rocket technology is a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. In the early days, rocket engines were essentially large firecrackers, relying on a basic combustion reaction to generate thrust. However, as our ambitions expanded beyond the sky and into the stars, we needed something more powerful, more efficient, and more reliable. Enter the liquid propellant rocket engine a marvel of engineering that uses a combination of fuel and oxidizer to create a high pressure and high temperature gas. This gas is then expelled through a nozzle, propelling the rocket forward. But as you can imagine, these enormous pressures and temperatures present a significant challenge. How do you prevent the rocket engine from melting under the intense heat of combustion? The answer lies in the principles of rocket cooling. Rocket cooling technologies are critical for the successful operation of modern rocket engines. Without them, the engines would overheat and fail, leading to catastrophic consequences. There are several methods of cooling, each with its own set of advantages and disadvantages. One of the most common methods is regenerative cooling, where the rocket's fuel is circulated around the engine before being combusted. This cools the engine and preheats the fuel, increasing its efficiency. Another method is ablative cooling, where a layer of material is allowed to slowly burn away, taking the heat with it. These cooling methods, along with advances in materials and design, have allowed us to build engines capable of withstanding the extreme conditions of space travel. The advancements in cooling technology have allowed rockets to withstand extreme temperatures. And as we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, these technologies will play a crucial role in our journey to the stars. The dawn of the 21st century brought with it a significant shift in rocket technology. 
As the new millennium unfolded, we witnessed the emergence of reusable rocket technology, a game changer in the realm of space exploration. These technological marvels, designed to return to Earth post-launch, drastically reduce the costs associated with space travel, thereby opening up a universe of possibilities. But who do we have to thank for this revolutionary leap? Private companies like SpaceX have been instrumental in this regard. Led by visionary Elon Musk, SpaceX has disrupted the status quo, propelling rocket design and propulsion into a new era. They've turned science fiction into reality with their Falcon rockets, which have successfully completed multiple round trips. Reusable rockets are not just a technological marvel, but a testament to human ingenuity. They encapsulate our relentless pursuit of knowledge and our unwavering determination to conquer the final frontier.